Okay, we have one more section to go over here before we can get into the projects. And uh, we're going to be going over the right side of the uh, screen here. So starting off at the very top here, we have this little square with the arrows in it. Basically, that just lets you work in full screen mode. Um, then click back to get back to that. Next, we have our layers, which uh, you should kind of already know. They're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, however, we are going to go into, uh, if you select a layer, there's this little kind of subfolder thing going on here. This first one here, that's how you're going to get your layer opacity and your blend modes for that layer. And there's also just a couple other things you can do in there. Uh, next, we have the mask. That's how you would create a mask for a layer. Uh, then we have the folder. You would basically select the layer that you want the folder to start in. And as you can see, it made a folder there. And now we can drag other um, uh, layers into that. Uh, we have the create new layer and delete layer. So that's it for that panel. Then we go down to the colors, which is pretty self-explanatory. We then go down to brushes, which I kind of showed you already a little bit. So the next three are going to be the main focus here. Uh, you just gotta kind of remember, they're all kind of your effects and adjustments and stuff, and uh, you're gonna be using these a lot, so it's just easy to remember. You wanna remember what's what, and your adjustments is gonna be the first one with the three dots here, and that's basically gonna have anything to do with kind of color changes that you wanna do to uh, your project, and as you see that I'm scrolling through, you know, they're, they're all color kind of related things. And then moving on, uh, the next one uh, is more the effects. This is going to have your stuff like blurs and, you know, things like that are all going to be found in here. So uh, even like Gaussian blur here and the way effects work is uh, let's just go right to, let's just go to this whole iPad group and then we can go back down to the effects and let's just put a blur on it and as you can see, as you go up and down with the pixels, you can just blur everything out. So let's leave that on. Um, in order to apply it, you can hit this little check mark. However, there's also the little lightning bolt here. What that's going to do is allow you to apply it in a way where you can go back and adjust it in the future. Uh, we'll get into that in a future tutorial. However, for now, I'm just going to apply it and we're just going to rasterize that layer for the most part um and that's that so then we're going to go to the the uh, layer effects and we're going to go and we're going to pick some text here because for the most part layer effects are pretty popular with text and we're going to do an outer shadow and we're going to make the offset off and we're going to make the radius and this the outer shadow is uh drop shadow in Photoshop terms, if you're used to that. Um, and then let's, why not? Let's put an outline on this and maybe we'll make this like that. Okay. Oh, I was on the wrong layer when I was doing that. Okay. So, um, Basically, though, that, that's what your layer effects are going to do is stuff like that. And then moving on, since we already have this text selected, next we're going to be in the text selection uh, area. And if we tap, oops, we got to be in the text. And if we select a layer, we can then go down and change its fonts and various other things like that. Uh, so stuff like that is going to be in the text section. We then have our camera, uh, metadata, uh, and your histogram in this panel. Uh, these are the channels. The channels are going to be advanced. We're not really going to cover them too much in this tutorial. Uh, we then have transform. Transform is going to let you change your anchor points and stuff like that. And you can even just use this to do the width and position rotation, stuff like that. Uh, now we have the navigator where if you're really zoomed in, you can, you'll just kind of see where you are and you can do, uh, you know, you can go back to fit and stuff like that. Um, 
the macros is similar to actions in Photoshop. Again, that's kind of something that's advanced, uh, but um, there's only a few defaults and you can import some more, but uh, that's, that's again, advanced stuff. And then we got the history and the history, not only can you go back and go through your history, but it's also got this cool little slider on the bottom where you can actually just slide through. And actually we are all the way back to one of the, to pretty much where we started in the uh, beginning of this tor tutorial. So the, the history slider is something that is really cool. So now you should kind of have a grasp of what's going on. And at least as I'm navigating through and we're doing a project, you should at least kind of get where I'm going and get, get the basic concepts and understanding. So let's just uh, get right into the fun stuff.